was no talking. It was just a knowing, like knowing they were like me, like they looked like me, but they were serious. They were not playing. They, they, they didn't crack a smile. They were like, it's like they were waiting for their orders like that, you know, to go. So now I'm, I all of a sudden became at a, at a level, like I was like that, boom, I'm in the water, like an ocean. And I look down and I, and I can't swim. So I'm, oh, I'm gonna drown, but I wasn't scared. You know, like in my mind, I know I cannot swim. But at the same time, I was breathing in the, and the water was clear, like the ocean, it was clear. And I look down, floating inside the water and I see like a fish, like a, mer like a mermaid, but she was black. And she had the figure, like a woman, but her, she had a tail of a fish, but the fins, like this. And I'm looking like in disbelief, and she's swimming. It was like this, like, you know, like this, the way she moved. And I was in awe. And next thing you know, I look, and I kid you not, it's like being on a beach, but you're on the water. You know how the beach, when you're like the Fijis or something, nice, beautiful sand, beautiful water. It was like that, but under. So I'm looking afar and I could see it, it looked like trees. Like, I kid you not, I knew I was underwater, but it looked like above. So as I began to look away, because now I'm coming like to a level of her, but she's swimming, she's swimming away. I look and I see like hundreds and hundreds of other aquatic beings, mermaids, mermans, but these were men. And they were big and muscular. And they looked like, um, they were, they were, I don't know if anybody ever saw, uh, like Twilight, when, when Edward went out into the sun, if it was beaming, he would, like, crystal, like that. They were brown, <laughs> they looked like us. And they were, like, like gold, like dust, like dust of gold all over their, 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 their face, their arms, too. But they looked like seahorses. You know how seahorses, like, like their armor were like seahorses and they were bronze, bronze color. That's the best way I can describe it. And looked me dead in my face and had, they had hair like locks, you know? And I was amazed because, but theirs were thicker. Like, you know, I got pretty thin, small locks, but theirs were thicker, these men. And even though they were merv-like, they were muscular and they had their armor, like, you know, military jacket like that. It was, um, like a seahorse, the shape of a seahorse, and the helmet. And they had a staff as well, bronze, like gold, like, like it just, it glittered, it glittered. That's the best way, it, underwater. So I looked up, because now I'm seeing like hundreds and hundreds of them, you know, like. It. You know, there are a lot of people who have seen things and deities and entities that are not from this realm. Now, for those who have not had any experience, it's almost as 20% for you to believe when, you know, what people say when they tell you that there are realms and deities among us that we can't see within our two eyes. We'll have to go with the inner mind and the inner eye to see these things. Some of these things are possible, they will visit you in your dream, or you might have them, you might see these deities as vision. It will be unacceptable, you could be laying or you could be just doing something that will make your frequency merge these deities' frequencies and their realms, and therefore you have access within one minute to take a good look into their realms and reality. I just want to say, someone sent me this video, I just thought I should share it as I was working on another video. For those who subscribe to The Mind is the Altar, we have a lot to talk about. I will see you soon.